Hello, everybody! This is Miles Luigi. Welcome you back to Let's Play Mario Gives Up Again. Where we're gonna go ahead and take care of the Dino Mountains, which are Dino Might. Check your rear view mirror and make him eat dust! I'm sorry. For those of you who don't know, that's the Super Mario Kart commercial. It's probably one of my favorite commercials of all time. Look at Yoshi really goes! <laughs> I just love that commercial. But it appears the uh, Super Mario World Dinos definitely got themselves a reskin in Mario Gives Up 2. They look uh, less cartoonish. Well, they still look like a cartoon. That was the big problem with the dinos and whatever in the world you call them. I just like calling them dinos. And then you have the Dino Mama, and that's the big one. <laughs> but they they still have a little bit of a cartoonish look, but they look really menacing. Um, Given this background and almost heck its landscape, it almost feels like we're back in World 1 again with, you know, the music. Remember, the very first world in this game it introduced ourselves with, you know, a background like this, and it really captured that this is a sequel kind of feeling, and it looks like we're now in World 6, although I'm not certain if this is capturing the you're in World 6 feeling, other than it honestly feels like we're on the moon. <laughs> Your walking cycle could use a little bit of work. <laughs> anyway... Let's go ahead and let those bullet bills go over my head and go over to the left here. But yeah, it almost feels like we're on the surface of the mood. Or maybe we found ourselves another time gate. You know, the one that took us back one billion years ago or one billion years away. Uh, maybe we just went 66 million years ago. So one more million years and the big meteor is going to hit the worth. And then Mark. <laughs> Oh, uh, Mario wonders, oh, well, in this case, it's actually Luigi, so I don't know what in the world I'm talking about. Oh, uh, Luigi, what are you doing in strange moon structure-like area 66 million years ago? So it's millions and millions and millions of years ago. All right, bullet bill jump. Airy. Oh, not enough momentum. Okay, whoop. Damn. Okay, we can get it. Third time's a charm. Whoop. Up we... I missed again, and now a dino mama decided to hop onto Luigi's head, and now he... she just stuck one of her horns right up Luigi. That wasn't very pleasant, by the way, so don't think it was. It really wasn't. Alright, I... D, that idea failed. <sighs> okay. Come on, shoot a bullet, shoot a bullet. There we go, up we go, and that time I made it fairly easily, and that guy dies in a funny manner. I wasn't so certain if I should go to the left or the right. Wow, I could really use a scroll up and a scroll down button. Like, we have scroll right, and we have scroll left, but we have no scroll up and no scroll down. And looking up and looking down doesn't quite work in Super Mario World. Ah! Alright, hold right! And we made it into the pipe. No invisible cling blocks guiding our way up. Looks like we are in a mandatory ice cave, and this is going to be the going down pattern, so screw you, Koopas! I made it! And I even got a cape for that endeavor. Nice to know we see the element of ice and the element of fire in the exact same location, not interfering with each other. <laughs> Thermodynamics be damned. What is this? This is actually a highly orderly state of hot lava and cold ice. That would be low entropy. Oh, what's the term that's actually opposite of entropy? Ectropy? It's a really weird term that sounds like entropy, but it's not entropy. It's like ectropy. Uh, one of the physics woods can tell, answer me that, but it's a state of order as opposed to disorder. <laughs> oh no, I fell down a hole and died! Alright, you're just laughing in my face when you make me have to land on a single 16 pixel block. But anyway, let's go ahead and end the level with 15 stars! You've completed another level. Make sure to check your rear view mirror and make them eat dust. Two speeds! Fast and way too fast! Oh, we have gone into the forest. Electric water. Well, uh, electric water. Um, well, I've got a feeling water is lava in this level, so yeah. Or, well, my other thought, it might be electric bloopers, but let's see here. Is water lava? For the most part, yes, although uh, I appear to have survived very briefly in it, so... I don't know if it's instant death or if it's just hurt water. It hurts you. Uh, reasonable estimation that it's... Uh, hurt water, though, because death was an instantaneous. Uh, we could experiment a little bit once we go ahead and get a power-up or two, which we should be able to do shortly, as we're basically in, like, a... 
<laughs> under the bridge type area in what I'm assuming is the forest? This doesn't... Well, I suppose it's full of wood, but still doesn't mean it's very forest. Although, haha, we're in a forest and there's a saw blade. I have a feeling that's going to be a running joke again like it was in Mario because up one. We're in a forest! Saw blades! Saw blades everywhere! Saw blades everywhere! Gotta cut down all the trees so that Goombas can't hop around in this area and you'll know, smack Mario upside the head going, You want to jump there? Nope! Ah! Fuzzy! Okay, Goomba, you had it. That was a very nice spin jump I got there, so... This may not have been the smartest level to go in power-up less, especially with circumstances like this, because Mario's just going to sit in the rain going, Oh, gosh darn it. Okay, time to bring out those Kaizo skills and get past all the saw blades with a good spin jump, and it looks like we've actually made it to the other side, and we're now able to take a hit. So, uh... First off, dodge the boomerang experiment time. Well, damn it, boomerang bro, you ruined the experiment. Water is instant death. Okay, can you actually get out of the water? If you, yes, you can. But <laughs> you really want to act fast, and not get back in there, or else you're gonna die. And for a second, I thought that pipe was solely underwater, only underwater, which would have been interesting. Yay, piranha plant, don't come back let's get away from all that electrified water where now we're on TV and it's moving or maybe I'm misunderstanding this because I see there's a gear to the left and a gear to the right what is this supposed to be uh, my first thought was like we're watching Mario live and Mario gives up two on TV which is funny because it's like you're watching a TV on YouTube but it's like a TV on YouTube oh my gosh it's like I'm watching something while I watch something so you can watch something while I watch something yikes Alright, moving along in this auto-scoring level. There was a thought I did have. Um, basically, the thought was electricity and water don't mix, but did you know it's not because of water's inherent properties? Water is actually a very, very, very... I'm dead. Damn it all. I have nowhere to go! <laughs> Mario's gonna get squashed! Squish. Mario got squished by the left side of the television screen and the thing on the right, so that was no good. You ended up with a Mario single pixel wide on the left side of the screen. Yeah. Alright, we now know the correct path is the middle path. Let's go ahead and get in there. Alright, kids. Lesson time. Science lesson time. Water is a poor conductor of electricity. Well, then why is water and electricity so dangerous? Well, usually the impurities in water, basically anything that's not distilled pure water. Wow, that Goomba was walking on air. Walking on sunshine. Anyway... Uh, water itself is a poor conductor, because if you have absolutely pure water, I don't just won't conduct electricity. I and mean, you have to actually look at the molecular structure of water to understand, you know, it's two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. It appears Mario has died to water impurities, because well, let me finish this stupid point, okay? Hydrogen, two hydrogen, and oxygen is inherently a really stable element that doesn't like passing along electrons like all the impurities in water. But once you put those impurities in the water, oh, electricity and electrons like going flying all over the place, causing Mario's death you just saw there. Did you understand any of that? Surely you've taken a science class before, right? You know, something I do have to admit is I'm about to die or not because I managed to get out of the water just in time. Jump and don't die, please. Thank you. Woohoo, Mario, you lived somehow. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say now. Okay, I actually am remembering now. This level has really, really, really calming music. Wow. Okay, thank God there isn't an enemy there. I would have been totally destroyed if there was an enemy here. But for a level that has electrified water and, you know, enemies everywhere and Mario being filmed, it has really calming music as if, you know, if the level didn't have electrified water, the music would actually fit quite well. You know, water is usually a fairly calming substance. Good God, jumping Koopa. Get, get out of my face. Same thing with the saw blade. I didn't even touch the sharp end of the saw blade, you know, I just touched the base of the saw blade. But of course, Mario, his hand got too close to, like, the exhaust pipe, and he went, ah, oh, lose power up. Get in the pipe. Thank you. <laughs> And with that, uh, unless there's another level with more electric water, that should be the end of all the electric water in which we get 29 more points to add to our total. Looks like we're very close to another bonus game. Woohoo! <laughs>
I believe we have enough time for a short level, assuming the next level is short. Er, trees. Well, with another dumb title like Er, trees. Yeah, we're in a forest. Yes, trees. <laughs> well, maybe this level will be short. If it isn't, then I, we might have to save it for next time. But let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, I'm, I'm already in the level. I might as well commit to, you know, doing the level. Hopefully this level isn't really long. But so far, it's proving itself to be a regular level with lots of flat branches. You know, piranha plants everywhere. Way to go ahead and find yourselves a lot of animals and plants and stuff like that indigenous to this uh, forest, Luigi. Well done. And I... damn. Well, let's go ahead and reverse time, not fall off the edge! There we go. So yeah, piranha plants, lotus plants, it's like everything here is resistant to uh, the fireball, which is... Just wonderful, because a fireball is an awesome weapon from Mario and Luigi to use to defeat enemies, and you know, everything here is resistant against fireballs, well, except the Koopa Troopas. They aren't resistant against fireballs, but, you know, what if I want to burn this forest down? All the enemies are just going to let out survive because they survive fire, no problem. And it looks like we have a choice between an upper path and a lower. I'll go ahead and take the upper path, because there is no real danger or death to falling to my doom up here there's actually a pipe which will take me to an entirely different area where we have x's and x's i was about to say x's and o's but instead we actually kind of had what it looked like a sick face back there <laughs> up a sick face full of coins i got forced poisoning touching stuff like poison ivy and stuff like that it's way to go <laughs> You touched poison ivy. Maybe that'll teach, uh... Eh. I don't exactly have a whole lot to expand on that point, but we have found ourselves the midway point as we just are on two stumps. And a single enemy... Am I able to lure him out? Yes, I am! Although it was a little too late for Luigi as he, you know, his foot got bit and he went, ah, And he lost his ability to shoot fireballs. How sad, you know? What if you had, like, a superpower and then an enemy punched you or shot you with fireballs? Wow, holy crud. How is this forest not burned down? Is it just that well humidified from electrified water that it just doesn't burn down? down? Wow, what a funny theory, Miles Luigi. Also, screw you. I am out of here! Screw you, I'm going to the end of the level. And where are we going? Okay, thank god. This ROM hack has pulled off a lot of react quick moments and jump. So it's nice to just see another safety platform down there because I... Ah. Luigi, you burned up, but the forest didn't burn up. Did you see that? Wow. You should have remembered your days back in grade school where you were taught to stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Or did you go back to school when you were taught about bomb drills and told you to put your head underneath the desk so you don't get blown up by the atomic bomb? When in reality, you're going to be vaporized. This forest should be vaporized. Woohoo, that was close. I have decided to... Oh, Damn it, just when I say that was really close, I've decided to take the more lower path in the level. All the paths are going to converge right here, so that's good. So once again, screw you, Piranha Plants, or Muncher, Chomper, <laughs> one of the various many terms you own. I honestly think it's just black Piranha Plants. Well, these ones aren't black. These are like baby Piranha Plants, or to think of a, another clever term. Regardless, a key... Oh, well, I suppose this level did have a secret exit. I wasn't necessarily thinking of getting this level secret exit right away, and I figured... Oh, another fire spewing one, and it looks like it landed on Luigi's foot, and then Luigi burst into flames and went, oh, and he screamed really, 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 really loud. And I mean, did you see that? Did you see that? That fire really did make Luigi's death quick. It was pretty gruesome to watch. <laughs> you shouldn't upload it to YouTube because, you know, it'd probably get flagged for being too gruesome for YouTube. <laughs> Why did you watch that? You know, Luigi, going through the forest of calm and quick deaths may not have been the brightest idea on your agenda, but then again, what do I know? You're in a game where you're told you give up. Now, hmm. Put the key up there. Jump up. Thank you. Jump. Get me up there. Get me up there. There we go. Haha! -ha. Did I 
potentially find the secret exit. This looks very secret exit pathy. Or maybe this is going to be the normal exit and the secret exit's to the right, where then you normally find the keyhole, go back, and go, oh, wait, I can jump on this guy. Perhaps I should jump on this guy, go over here, and go find the normal exit. I don't know, but I think this, I think I ran into the secret exit, possibly, because, you know, the key wasn't that difficult to find. It's just go up to this path, use the key. Congratulations, and here's the keyhole. So, yeah, that was the secret exit. I'm assuming go right, normal exit, take that path to secret exit. That took us to Mind Fudge! Fudge! Great, a ghost house called Mind Fudge. Last thing I need on my list of things to do is to go through a level in a Super Mario World ROM hack called Mind Fudge. Well, anyway, on the next episode of Let's Play, Mario gives up to Mario's gonna take a venture through this forest, find his way through it normally, and Luigi's gonna get his more fudge. Wine fudge. This has been Miles Luigi. See you all next time. Thank you.